how to thread the sewing machine. Step one, make sure the thread goes straight up and is threaded in the stationary hole from the back towards the front. The thread should be coming from the back towards the front. Step two is to thread this stationary post right here. Step two is to thread the stationary post. So I'm gonna unthread it real quick. So you bring the thread, it should be threaded from back towards the front. Okay, and then you will notice there are two little plates and the two plates are pushed together because there's a little spring right here. So it's a little mini tension disc. The thread has to go in between the two silver plates. So it goes up and over. That's all, kind of like a rainbow, up and over. You don't go around and around and around or it, it just, it won't flow through. So it doesn't even go around a full 360. It just goes up and over. Okay, go ahead and pull the thread to make sure everything's pulling nicely. You're, that, you know, if the thread can't go through, you did something wrong. Okay. Step three is another stationary um, post. And the rule of thumb is to thread it right to left. Right to left. So starting on your right hand side, towards your left, pull that guy out. Now, what a lot of beginners do is they go to the bottom and they thread it left to right. That's incorrect. The rule is right to left. So you have to bring your thread around and th to thread the other side also right to left. And if you did it correctly, you'll see there's kind of a little swivel in front, okay? Right to left, right to left. Our next step is to come straight down and we're gonna thread another set of tension discs. Um, go ahead and examine it so you can be familiar with it, but it's really, it's these two separate metal plates and they're just smashed together because there's this little um, spring thing here. And if I do lefty loosey, the spring loosens. If I do righty tighty, the spring gets, pushes the plates closer together. This is about a medium tension uh, where I can see this much of the screw. Um, so the goal is to go straight down and really get your thread in between the discs. I think a lot of people are too gentle and they just kind of let it sit right here, the top, but you really need to make sure it's clicked in and you can feel a difference. Um, and then I bring it around. So it just goes around under and then straight up. And when I pull it, I should kind of feel, oh yeah, there's a little more tension. It's not as loose as it was before you put it in. Okay. So that's threading the tension disc. While your thread is up here, go ahead and come straight down and it should catch that little spring wire or whatever he is, okay? And then after catching that spring wire while I'm down here, I can catch this stationary hook and then I can go straight up and I can catch another stationary hook on my way up. And then now we are ready to thread the take up lever and guess which direction the take-up lever is threaded? Right to left. So from the right side towards the left. Then you come down and you catch another stationary hook on your way down. And then there's another hook right here. You kind of get it through the back. And then we just have two steps left. We have one more little hole and then we have the needle. So again, my whole rule of thumb is always thread from back to front and right to left. But for the last two steps, we actually break those rules. So thank goodness, because this would be really hard to thread from the back towards the front. So we get to break our rule and we thread it from front to back. And our needle, it's extremely important. We thread it from the left to the right. Now, if you make a mistake and accidentally thread your needle the wrong way, You'll figure it out really quick because your thread will just come out and it won't sew anything. So that's how you know if you did it wrong. It's not gonna break the needle or do anything bad. It just 
will come unthreaded a lot and you'll just have to rethread it. Okay, now, what you need to do is make sure your take-up lever is in the highest position. And, and to make sure your take-up lever is in the highest position, you roll the wheel towards you. There's even an arrow on it. I don't know why. I notice a lot of beginners, for some reason, naturally want to push it away from them, but it causes a lot of issues. They get jams a lot easier. I've seen some people find success. They they did it, and it, it didn't ruin everything, but it's it's not a high percentage. So if you just want to avoid any drama or trouble, um, just get used to rolling it towards you. Follow the arrow, and everything will be happy. So keep rolling it towards you until your take-up lever is the highest position possible. Okay, so I'm rolling the take-up lever towards me, and that looks like that's the highest position. Great. Okay. So once it's in the highest position, take your thread and pull it underneath your presser foot towards the back and see what that feels like. Start training yourself. I'm gonna pull it like five inches there. You know, it feels a little tight. It, if yours feels really loose, maybe we didn't get it in the tension disc properly or maybe your tension's really, really loose where this white thing looks like it's gonna fall off. Um, or if you're pulling it and you can't get it anywhere, maybe we wrapped it too many times around something or it's just not threaded correctly. I don't know. But the more you pull this, the more familiar you'll become with what feels like good tension and bad tension. And before you even start sewing, you'll know if your machine's threaded correctly or not so that we don't have to waste any time. Um, so go ahead and practice that, but it should go through. I do want to note that if your take-up lever is down, I'm going to roll the wheel towards me to demonstrate that. See how my take-up lever's down? But my needle's up, take-up lever's down. If I pull my thread, it's locked and it won't come through. So I have to really pull hard and sometimes students do this and it breaks their thread, but this is not a good test. If you're gonna test the thread tension, it's really important that the take-up lever is up high. Great. Another thing too, sometimes I see students pull the threads towards them. That's not really good either because then it might bend the needle a little bit and then your needle, needle might eventually break when you're sewing. So it's always best to put the thread underneath the presser foot so the tension can rest against the, the presser foot and not your needle, okay? So pull it behind, away from you. So please, 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 day one, just try to get in that habit for me. You'll notice my bobbin thread came up. I kinda wanted to talk about that real quick. Okay, I just took my bobbin thread out and I, I reset it and I put it back in. Um, after your machine is threaded and you pulled your thread under your presser foot and pulled it towards the back and everything felt good, your take-up lever is in the highest position possible, you are ready to pull up your bobbin thread. This, to remind you, is a single needle machine. It's a lock stitch machine. So it has thread coming from the top of it and thread from the bottom and every stitch makes a little lock. That's why they call it a lock stitch. Same as your home sewing machines. Okay, so I'm gonna hold my thread, just a, like a little tension, just to kind of hold it kind of tight. And all I wanna do is I wanna take one stitch. And that one stitch will pull up um, a loop up and I can pull up my bobbin thread through that. How to go wrong? Well, you could take one and a half stitches and that won't really work. You can do two stitches, that won't really work. You could do half a stitch, that won't really work either. So how do you do just one stitch? Okay, one stitch is when you roll the hand wheel towards you and you keep turning it and the take-up lever starts in the top position and the take-up lever does one full rotation. So the take-up lever goes down and then the, as you keep turning the wheel, the take-up lever goes back. That's one stitch. So easy, what could go wrong? Sometimes what goes wrong is students look at the needle and they think, oh, well, one stitch must be when the needle goes down and comes back up.
but that's actually only half a stitch. Let me demonstrate for you. Okay, I'm gonna turn the wheel towards me. My take up lever is going down, my needle went down. Voila, my needle is up, but my take up lever is down. So if I go to pull my thread right now, it's jammed and stuck. That's only half a stitch. That will not help me get my bobbin thread up. So what you need to do is to just keep turning that wheel until the take up lever is all the way at the top. Sometimes people don't go to the top, they're just so excited to pull it and it still, it still kind of feels jammed. So you really just need to make sure this guy's at the top and your life will be easy street. Okay, here we go. Okay, now we just need to pull our thread. And voila, do you see a loop popped up? Sometimes it's really small. But anyways, we wanna pull that loop. Oops, where do you go? There it is. And eventually the, we find the end of the loop and it's, it's just too full threads, which is our bobbin thread that was underneath. Then again, we take both threads and we put it underneath the presser foot and we pull it towards the back. And now we're ready to put some fabric right in between them so that you'll be sewing on the bottom and the top side. Um, and just a reminder, before you start sewing, you have your presser foot up to put your fabric in. You will always need to put the presser foot down before you start sewing. Don't forget that. I think a lot of beginners, you know, it's so much to think about getting it threaded that they kind of forget that last step. And it's no fun because it can cause a lot of jams. So to get your presser foot up and down, we have a lever back here. Up and down. Or we even have this cool like, wow, where is it? Sorry guys, I've got a feature here that can lift it up and down as well. 